Well, welcome back to the Mod Showcase, everyone. Hope you guys are all having the most wonderful of wonderful days. My name is Leaf, and it's so great for you guys to join me for yet another little Sunday Showcase. Today, we are looking at the last mods that were updated, or uploaded, really, to the Nexus uh, over the past two weeks. Now, before we do get into this, as always, mods are not officially endorsed by Frontier. When you do mod, you do mod at the risk of kind of breaking your own game. But if you follow all the instructions to AT, which is pretty easy to do, uh, you guys will be totally fine with them. Like, mods are so fun, and we're going to check out some of the more fun ones today. Uh, we're going to get started with an update to an older mod. This is the Asian Golden Cat. This one is by Monsoon, and I believe Frazzle originally coded it. Uh, but Monsoon actually stepped back and did a beautiful, beautiful remaster on that. We'll get a quicker look up close and personal with these guys. So the Asian Golden Cat is a very, very rare feline species from Southeast Asia. Uh, unfortunately, when I do these showcases, I don't really have all the information on hand. But we can check it out over here. It ranges all the way from like tai Taiwan, not Taiwan, that's right there. Uh, China, Laos... Uh, Vietnam, a little bit of Sumatra down there too, so that's very interesting. Uh, but they're just a very, very beautiful animal. Again, every single modded animal over here has a full Zoopedia, full species profile and stuff. It's a very interesting stuff, and it's just so gorgeous too. I don't know what these guys kind of remind me like. They remind me of like, you know when you get a JPEG that's kind of like quote-unquote deep fried? They remind me of like a deep fried Bengal tiger mixed with like a house cat. I don't know, they're super adorable. But amazing job, Monsoon. Very awesome to get your classic kind of like rare Southeast Asian animals. I don't know. He's it, That's his specialty. Moving on from there, we are going down under. We are checking out the Merton's Water Monitor. Now, this is directly ported from Zoo Tycoon 3, I just want to say. Uh, ideally, I would like a completely custom one, uh, but for the time being, I'm not good at reptiles, and the only person who is said he would think about it. But for the time being, I teamed up with Jen, TNT, and myself, really, to bring this animal to you guys. So the Merton's Wire Monitor is slightly related to the... Asian water monitor. In fact, all monitors are very closely related. Whenever you see Varanus, that essentially means it is a monitor species. They're all relatively common. Well, not really common. Uh, they're all relatively related to each other, but the Merton's water monitor is very adapted for quick aquatic swimming. These guys move like fish once they're in the water. It's so cool. But yeah, these guys are native to Australia, and that's just very cool. They're just very cool guys. Uh, I'm going to bring this guy out here to the sun a little bit so you guys can see, like, all those beautiful colors on him. But it is on the Asian Water Monitor rig, so it can deep dive. Originally, it was on the Nile Monitor rig, but since the Asian Water Monitor came out, this was honestly perfect for these guys. It's so awesome that we finally have, like, you know deep diving monitors and i hope you guys are excited about all the ones that are coming out especially this one too this is a black headed monitor again i believe these guys are found from australia yep they're found in australia so these guys are just so beautiful uh again another zoo tycoon 3 model so give your big shout outs to frontier for this one you guys can't say that this isn't a frontier quality animal because it quite literally is a frontier animal i always say that it's so funny uh but yeah just a really solid animal super cool patchwork on like you know their skin and whatnot very interesting patterns you have like the lines over there and then you have like the hexagonal circle scale kind of things i don't know just a very very awesome animal especially for australian sections hope you guys enjoy that one there moving on so we should probably address this uh it is sad to say that jen the prolific absolutely marvelous planet zoo mod creator is stepping away from the community jen has given us like so many awesome animals over the past two, three years, and it's just so sad that, you know, she kind of decided her time was done, but she kind of gave me and some other modders the green light to polish up some of her stuff in the works and get it out to all of you guys. Like, we honestly just sat down and were like, okay, we have all this stuff, we're gonna make sure it's as best as possible for everyone to really use, and yeah, just so everyone can enjoy. So, starting off releasing stuff from the vault, 
Um, I really wanted to bring a lot of her mods out to be, like, their full potential. So, um, if you guys have any issues with these mods, just report it on the bugs page. We'll be sure to get to it as soon as possible. Unfortunately, life is very busy for me, so I'm not able to get to everything so quickly. Uh, but, yeah, that's pretty much it. Let's talk about this animal. This is the Radiated Tortoise. This is such a beautiful, beautiful mod. Uh, so the Radiated Tortoise is found in Madagascar, and because of that, these guys have interspecies enrichment. With the rest of the Malagasy animals, I even threw the Aldabra Giant Tortoise in there for good measure. But, yeah, that's really it. These guys are just super awesome, super beautiful. Really, really awesome texture, too. Like, Jen absolutely outdid herself with this texture. Love to see that stuff. So that is just a very awesome mod to have. Uh, especially since turtles are just re really, really simple mods. Like, people often are like, hey, like, modders aren't able to do, like, the stuff that Frontier does. This is perfect for what we need. Like, this is great. The only thing that we're missing over here is a turtle mating animation. But, hey, we can't get everything that we deserve. <laughs> Moving on from there. Uh, speaking on the vault, we also have another one. This is the Brazilian Porcupine. Probably one of the best mods out there right now. Uh, these guys have all these quills in here, and I do apologize because my settings aren't entirely up to speed. I was doing some funky stuff. But here we go. You can see that these guys have all their quills uh, kind of like poking out. You can see it a lot more once it's like actually in the light. You can see that all these quills are exactly how they're supposed to be. Uh, and it's just super, super awesome. South American porcupines are honestly some of the cutest ones because they have like these big old noses. Always found those very, very adorable. But uh, yeah, these guys are super awesome and they could even hang from their tail upside down in real life. And because of that, since they are on the Binturong rig, uh, they can also do that on here as well. Unfortunately, they're not going to do it. But I do believe I have that as like the profile picture. Big shout out to Robustus for that. Really, really awesome at taking pictures. He is just so awesome for that. Beyond that, they also have interspecies enrichment. I gave them interspecies enrichment with Capybara, Capuchin Monkey, and Giant Ant Eater. Felt like that would be a kind of cool mix for these guys. So that's pretty much that right there. Uh, and forgive me for not decorating this enclosure. Um, honestly, these guys steal the show regardless. So that's going to be my excuse for not doing that. This is the Mule Deer. A lot of people already enjoy the White Tail Deer by Jen. So she thought it'd be super simple just to be able to turn it into a mule deer. Uh, mule deer are very closely related to white-tailed deer. The only main difference is uh, some minor morphology differences, a little bit with the mouth over here. So like these black markings and the mule deer have a black tail as opposed to a white tail like a white-tailed deer does. Really, really beautiful animal to begin with, but Jen's mod really does such a beautiful job at capturing, like, the true majesty of this animal. They are native to, like, the west coast of the United States, kind of like western Yellowstone, Canada, um, Oregon, Washington, California, all that stuff. Uh, so it's just very cool to see, like, these very specific species make their appearance in here. And the baby is absolutely adorable as well. Can't go wrong with that. But that is really it, my friends. We don't have that much this week, or like these past two weeks, but I'm working with Buffsu to bring some new fish to the game. I'm working with everyone else to really get some new props to the game. Aquaria pack is going really, really nicely. I might as well show off a little bit of something. Uh, let's see what, what we can show off. Hopefully you guys use these. Post pictures of you guys using them once it's actually out. Um... But, yeah, we, Nick added, like, a whole bunch of, like, these different miscellaneous decals. And once you pair them with scaling, they are so perfect. These were made with scaling in mind, essentially. But you can start to scale stuff up. You can change it to be, like, you know, a little bit of an orange and red. Uh, kind of like this. Hold on. Let's get, like, that awesome gradient right there. You see? This is some beautiful stuff right here. I love to see that. But that is just a little bit of a hint. Maybe you guys will constantly see hints in, like, my speed builds and stuff like that. Of, like, the other pieces in here. Yeah, just a really, really solid pack. I am so proud of Nick for, like, making all this happen. It's incredible. But regardless, let me know your favorite mods from this week down in the comments down below. Mine from this week, honestly, I have to say it's a porcupine. These guys are so adorable. 
And I believe that is exactly where we're going to end it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Jen's Ko-Fi is linked in the description down below. Please go send her some support. Even though she isn't modding anymore, the support will still go like a long way to help show the appreciation that we have for her. And for everything that she did for this community. So many awesome animals. So many awesome remasters. Just really, really awesome stuff from an awesome person. Regardless, thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you guys did enjoy it, uh, letting a like wouldn't hurt. I would appreciate that. Come on. <laughs> I'm kidding, of course. Have a great one, guys. Can't wait to see you all in the next video. Take care and bye bye.